Oh, what? Uh, Morning, Tony. Five more minutes. Friend of yours? Mm, more like a souvenir. Huh. You're right. This stuff gives off an energy. Uh, probably radioactive. Ooh, wait. Active what now? God, I love your made-up words. I need more of this. Flux capacitor. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! The oh, 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 I'm searching for a person, a forerunner, who would have been the first person transported to this world from the future and the reason reality is collapsing around us. You think this forerunner would share the same energy as the Rips? Yes, I do. Can you trace it? In theory, yes. But in reality, the magic needed to power such a device... No arc reactors in 1602. Again with the beautiful gibberish. Keep talking. It's like opium to my ears. So we're stuck. Well, there is one thing rumored to have enough power to propel a thousand ships. I doubt our new king will let me borrow his scepter. Well then, sounds like you need a thief to help you steal it. Who do you have in mind? Will has written a new play, and it's about this character called Iago. I mean, there's some other characters in it, but really the play's about Iago. Mm. Champagne? Mm. Oh, hey. oh, oh, oh. Good morrow, Prince Loki. Your carriage looks like it could use some lightning of its load. <sighs> Roger's hood. You know, for an outlaw, you're annoyingly chipper. <laughs> Whoa, what treasure is this? Victoria's sponge, pineapple cakes, marzipan. Fuck, they got marzipan. We're here for the coin, not the cake, Lang. Well, maybe you are. Ooh, there's pie, too. Mind the champagne. It's very expensive.